Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got a special one for you. Super excited about this. Um, I was lucky enough to get in contact with uh, an acquaintance at Puma Japan and I was able to pick up a new pair of kicks that uh, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why, seems it's not available at the moment of this recording in kind of like in the Western world. So if you head over to like um, Puma's website or their Instagram page, of course, what's blowing up right now is Lamello's new shoe, uh, the MB01. A beautiful uh, looking shoe, nice silhouette. It's a mid cut, you know, I love mid cuts and just the aesthetic of it. It's, it's a great looking shoe. But as far as what I've seen as their official page, you know, I might've missed something, that's cool. Uh, I've seen the black and teal uh, colorway. Of course, there's the all red one that I believe released first. And then they had the gray one and um, what's it called? The Ricky and Morty colorway, like the green and red um, kind of mismatched one there. But, um, you know, he was seen on court wearing an all black with red hits. Now, you guys know me <laughs> for if you've been with the channel for a long time. If you know me on a, over on Instagram, you know, I love black shoes even more so when they've got a hit of red. So that's exactly what I have right here. I, I'm not sure why um, it's available in Japan. It sold out on their website immediately. I was lucky enough to get one. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, the first thing I was like, whoa, man, this box, this box is pretty, pretty crazy. It's all about space and, you know, there's galaxies and nebulas and whatnot. And uh, anyways, uh, let's open this up. Um, you know, maybe I'll show you some B-roll or some more shots of the box. It says right here, um, MB1 Puma Black Red Blast. Not just any black, Puma Black. And I like that uh, Red Blast. So they've got some extra adjectives in there. So uh, yeah, all right, let's open this up. Let's have a look. There they are. Wow. What a great, great uh, looking shoe. Yes. Wow. Okay, so basically the first thing I've noticed uh, looking at it, it's um, quite plush. It's quite plush around the ankle. That's pretty nice. And I just really love the shape and the silhouette. As I said already, I love uh, mid cuts. And um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's kind of like Overall, it's a simplistic silhouette, but just the details and just the aesthetic and oh, it's just a great looking shoe. Um, let's have a look at the traction and the traction pattern. You can see this one here says rare. Um, it's kind of a spiral nubs, if you will, from a center point from the pivot point. And then in the back half, it's a little bit different, kind of got like diamonds, I guess. Um, it says one of one. And then on the pivot point, it says, man, what does it say? Golden child. It says golden child on the pivot point with the Puma. Um, the rubber seems right now hard. It's kind of hard, actually. It's kind of, uh, it's not something you see every day. Usually, you know, a lot of treads quite soft, meant to, you know, wear out quickly. So you buy another one. So the traction looks pretty solid. There's a couple points where it actually does wrap up which is pretty sweet. Um, next thing that I noticed is on the um, lateral side, the cushioning is caged. And then on the medial side, it's exposed. So it's got some give to it. I did look up on the website, it's called Nitro Foam. It's full length Nitro Foam, which I have not tried yet. Uh, you can see behind me, I've got the Clyde All Pro. And um, yeah, the cushioning was not, not, not bad in those. So we'll see what this is going to be like. Um, I also am looking at all of the eyelets. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I love shoes that have six eyelets. Uh, you know, I have played in many shoes that have five and they totally get the job done for sure. But for us guys with skinny feet, or us uh, guys and gals with skinny feet, the more eyelets, usually the better. So, But yeah, you can see this aesthetic that I was talking about with the red hits all around. Um, you know, it's interesting. Aha, uh -huh, there's a difference. I heard a lot of people say, I've watched other YouTube reviews, um, uh, 
uh, Nightwing and Soul Brothers. I think they said like the this aesthetic here, it's basically rocket flames. It's an extension of uh, his tattoo on his leg. Now I got that information from the Soul Brothers from Sammy, so shout out to you. On the red pair, it's stitched on this side, but it was kind of like embossed or fused or something. And people were kind of saying it would have been um, much better if it was stitched on both sides. This is, this is stitched on medial and lateral. So um, that's awesome. That's awesome. I like this. I like this. Uh, it's got the mellow um, M dot E dot L dot O dot on the heel, the heel counter. Not that substantial, but it, it is there. It is there. It is there. Um, you've got here in the uh, on the toe box at the top of the toe box it says not from here and then you have um, a one of one on the side right here some cool details um, I really like the logo um, up on here on the tongue speaking of which I haven't even checked that one out the tongue yeah it's well padded that's for sure it's a nice thick padded uh, one thing that I didn't like in the Clydes was the, the thickness of the tongue was great, but the, the coverage of the tongue wasn't enough for me. And that is not the case here. It looks like it's, you know, it's going to do the job, or at least, you know, to my standard personally. So, yeah, guys. So, um, weight wise, I mean, the, the paper is still in here. I don't know it's slightly on the lighter side yeah uh, it's definitely not a heavy shoe but um you know it's it's not let's let's check out the Clydes here let's no for sure the Clydes are way lighter for sure for sure I even like the fuse on the uh, toe cap just the, the shape of it and the um, kind of the lines that it gives on the on the toe box um, I do like shoes that are a little bit more squarish uh, in the toe box and this seems to be so now I went with a eight and a half uh, my uh, true size. I have not tried them on so you know um, Maybe if you want to know look for updates on my Instagram All right guys. Well that about uh, Just about covers everything um, Yeah, hope you guys like the detailed pictures and a, a little bit of b-roll and um, oh, Man, I tell you Unfortunately, the gyms are all closed again um, you know things are getting out of hand over here in the Kanto area in the Tokyo Saitama area so I don't know when the gyms are gonna open again and I am NOT gonna play with these outdoors I want to wait until I'm able to play indoors and when I do I'll obviously I will do a first on court episode for you okay guys that's it that's all I have to say thanks so much for joining I hope you guys liked the video if you have any questions or comments about the shoes if you want to drop some fire emojis go ahead um, hey, if you can, if it's your first time to drop by the channel, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, I'd appreciate it. And if you got any um, uh, questions at all, anything you want to say, just leave them down below or hit me up on uh, Instagram. Okay guys, thanks for joining in and take care everyone. Peace.